Today we're going on an epic adventure to a place you've never been before, the secret rooms of the Pantheon. Pass by this piazza several times a day. This is the Piazza of the Rotonda. And of course, everyone loves the Pantheon, love to jump inside all the time. But this is also a local neighborhood. Down the corner here is one of my favorite coffee shops, which is San Eustachio. This is a place teeming with history. This is a place teeming with a local community. And this is part of my neighborhood. I'd like to share that with you as we go around and explore ancient Rome. Hey, this is Darius Aria, archeologist, standing in front of a structure you know really well. It's the Pantheon. It's the best preserved temple from ancient Roman times. Everyone knows this famous portico or front porch and behind it, the amazing rotunda with the largest unreinforced concrete dome weighing about 5,000 tons. But did you know that there are secret spaces, hidden places within the Pantheon? Today, I'm gonna take you to the secret rooms of the Pantheon you've probably never seen before. Let's go explore. Let's take a look at this plan to understand the basic components of the Pantheon that we'll talk about today. There's the porch on the right, there's the rotunda in the center, and then we have highlighted in red that special new area that's constructed to sustain the rotunda, known as the Grotoni. Those are the rooms we're going to be exploring. And next to it, further south, is the remains of this massive hall known as the Basilica of Neptune. And you can see from the cross hatch marks, the three X's represent then a large vaulted ceiling that extended for a very large area. So with this reconstructed model, we can see the rotunda of the Pantheon in the distance and what's right behind it, that large hall. The Basilica of Neptune was quite massive. So behind the rotunda, there's another structure. Look at this huge brick rectangular structure butting up against the southern side of the rotunda of the Pantheon. What's it for? It's not a hall for receiving people. Instead, it's structural. In the Renaissance times, it becomes known as the Grottone because there are a series of grotto-like structures. There are radial walls that are buttressing up the southern side of the rotunda of the Pantheon and then encased in this nice brick structure. So it's functional, it's structural, but it's not something for the public to access. I'm gonna take you inside. We're gonna explore the secret rooms of the Pantheon, not normally open to the public. We can explore that history, that little known aspect of the Pantheon. The structure behind me is the Basilica of Neptune. It's only one portion of it with a monumental apse, but the structure was enormous and stretched on and is underneath this building over here. So you have a large hall. This is the Basilica or the Tribunal Hall rebuilt after the fire of 110. This is gonna be attributed ultimately to Hadrian, but originally there was the Stoa of Neptune here in the time of Augustus built by Agrippa. Now, if we look at this as the back wall of the Basilica of Neptune, what's behind it is that structure known as the Grottone. And that's where we have those radial walls that are buttressing up the uh, southern end of the rotunda. And what's up on top of it? We can see two projecting flying buttresses. So they're really concerned as they're rebuilding the Trojanic Hadrianic Pantheon, they're concerned with its stabilization. They don't just build the Grottone structure, which we're gonna go inside and investigate but they also put on top flying buttresses that projected forward and connected to the full height of this Basilica of Neptune. So let's step inside. And one of the first amazing things that we'll see is the seventh century icon that was dedicated by Pope Boniface IV, dedicated to the mother of God, Panagia Horegitria, the All Holy Directress. We can pass through here behind this curved wall. That's the curved apse wall of the Basilica of Neptune. We can make our way through these irregular spaces. Remember, this is just a structural phenomenon. This isn't a place for the public to visit. And we can ascend the stairs to go up to the second floor. And we can just see already how massive the Grotoni structures actually are. And now we see the full height and the large volumes 
and the vaulted ceiling, where at the top on the left here, we can see the top of the apse of the Basilica of Neptune. We have these spaces decorated with many architectural features of the Pantheon, as we'll explore. And it really is an incredible opportunity that sometimes the ministry opens up these spaces to the public. So looking around here, we see plenty of relieving arches that are inserted in the fabric of the walls. So we want to always think about these huge, massive walls with openings, in this case, the apse. So you need to sustain the weight from above. Just taking a walk behind the Pantheon Rotunda. This is the famous Grottone. There's an exhibition here, it's temporary. But to be in these spaces, you're getting a much better idea of the engineering behind the construction of the Pantheon. It's so much more than the Rotunda and the porch. This is the backside that's been forgotten. This is the backside that's been neglected. This is the part of the Pantheon that ensured that very Rotunda did not collapse. It's considered to be an add-on. It's considered to be secondary in the plan, but due to cracks in the uh, cylinder of the Pantheon, this back end was added, basically wedged in between the Pantheon Rotunda and the so-called Basilica of Neptune. What a spectacular add-on, never accessible to the public. It's an extraordinary visit. It's an extraordinary opportunity to delve in to the Pantheon. This is one of the great secrets that you never see. One of the great aspects of visiting the Grattoni spaces is that we can see this great cataloging. Brick tiles have the stamps that help us date the Pantheon to the times of Hadrian and Trajan. And it really is just an incredible space to walk through, to be impressed by this incredible architecture, all original brick-faced walls and vaulted ceilings. You don't only have the area of the Cortone, this series of uh, structures here that act to brace the rotunda from the south of the rotunda. We're actually in, a, in a, an obscure space between uh, the rotunda of the Pantheon and the so-called Basilica of Neptune. And in fact, right here, they have all of these incredible panels. Now, some of them in marble, date to the time of Hadrian, still decorate part of the interior space of the Basilica of Neptune that you can see today. But there's so much more that's on display and preserved. So you think about this space today is used for exhibitions, but it's also a museum it's also got some of this incredible engineering that dates the time of Trajan and Hadrian. It's contemporary. It's part of the construction of the Pantheon, and we can explore. So let's explore some more these spaces of the Grottoni. Here's the curved wall of the Rotunda, and we can see then by the vaulting, we can see by the construction that pretty early on in the construction of the Rotunda, they determined to make the Grottoni structures to integrally be joined to the rotunda. And we can see the vaulted ceilings, different kinds of vaulting involved. We can also see little uh, relics, uh, remains of marble that once decorated the Pantheon. Also some relics of it having been a church. But throughout, we see the insertion of relieving arches, including in this impressive vaulting up above. We can even see the impression left from the planks to which the concrete was poured. That's one of the great treasures, the great examples we can have of exploring the Grottoni is getting closer to the fabric, getting closer to the construction technique that makes the Pantheon so impressive. So it's really behind the curtains view of the Pantheon and its construction that we can admire so much more even than being inside the Rotunda Hall itself. This is the real engineering of the Pantheon at work, invisible to us today. Now let's head back downstairs. One more opportunity to look at this marble, that curved apse wall, which has on top of it a series of blocks of travertine stone. We're behind again still the apse of the Basilica of Neptune. And when we do finally exit, we're going to exit in style. We're leaving the Grottoni, and we're going to directly connect to the Pantheon Rotunda itself. So there's still ancient passageways that bring us right into the heart 
of this incredible Roman temple, the Pantheon. And truly, I hope you enjoy these secret rooms and have better appreciation of the architecture and the engineering that went into the construction of Rome's greatest imperial temple. Hey, this is Darius Aria for Ancient Rome Live. I want to invite you to join me and my colleagues in a course this May, May 6th to 10th, 2024. It's here in Rome and sites in the environs of Rome. It's all about how to build a Roman city. We're gonna explore some sites that you know. We're gonna explore some sites that you've never heard of. There's an opportunity to see live archeology, span architectural history, to explore the archeology span of the city. Please join me. We have a few spots left, May 6th, May 10th, 2024 in Rome. Thanks again for joining me in my ancient Rome. This is my town. I wanna to share the secrets that I explore every day. See you soon.